Hello everyone, my name is Kunda. This is my Falador Area Ultimate Iron Man account. With the goals of defeating Cerberus, completing Falador Achievement Diaries, and hopefully generating some interest in my new updated Patreon, which I'll explain at the end of the video. Hopefully. This is going to be the last video, at least for a long, 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 long time, in our Impling mini-series, as far as this goes, because uh, I am just about done with Implings. I've had too many Implings. Actually, we can check. Let's do that. How many Implings? we got on this butterfly net. These are our surface world totals. They are kinda actually pathetic and in Puro Puro we have somewhat greater numbers. About three and a half, four thousand of the lowest three tier implings. Two and a half ish of both Earth and Essence Implings. Essence and Eclectics being the really most useful ones to us right now. Nature Implings aren't so bad, but we've only halfway recently unlocked them, and we've got 225, and nothing else is unlocked. Currently, the goal is Magpie Implings. They have two drops on their drop table that we really need for a goal that we started. How many videos ago? I'm going to have to count. Hang on. I can't exactly tell without going back and watching the videos, but it may be in the like 8 to 10 ish videos ago ish that we started going for the medium Falador Achievement Diary. One task left, but our best way of completing it, Magpie Emplings. So here we are, almost ready to complete. It is time for us to catch more Emplings. If other players haven't caught them all on us already, Essence Empling, uh, no! Yeah, this is what it's all about. This is RuneScape. We have a freaky forester. Let's see if we can change up my fashion scape a little bit. It is about time. Pretty certain to get a piece of forester. Let's see what we get. We get the top. You know what? I actually don't like this at all, but I kinda wanna collect the full set since we're only one piece away, so I'll probably end up hanging on to it anyway, but getting the later hose and legs would have been so much better. Streaming in a cosplay. Don't mind me. But, as you can see, uh, I'm getting tired of the festive nutcracker trousers. We've had our nuts cracked enough. It is not festive anymore. Uh, actually. Can we just change these? Can we just change the style? Does that make it work a little better? Maybe? Maybe? We were gonna rock the underwear look. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just... Yeah. I am forever going to be upset at my decision with the like slot of this account. For real though, this is not the best fashion scape and if we want to change like our default leg slot away from what actually like 100% legitimately looks like medieval underwear, we need high level construction. We're not there yet. I don't know if we're gonna get there. That isn't the impling I wanted. Let's... Why are we going that way? Yeah, I don't know if we're ever gonna actually be able to change our default pants on this account. It is what it is.
And there we have it. Finally. That is our level 6500 and finally means we can catch magpie implings. What we've been here for, for basically the whole winter. That took me longer than it should have. And because I was waiting until we hit that level 65 hunter before we opened the reward casket that we got from that outhouse clue scroll, I still can't believe that the outhouse clue came and ended up being a casket. Anyway, let's see if we actually get anything or if it's a trash easy casket. Okay, three of those things. Fucked up, man. Is that a wig? It is a wig. We got a powdered wig. This is about the most least useful, most distasteful cosmetic we could have gotten from a clue scroll. I don't like this at all, but at the same time. Look how hilarious we look. I almost want to keep the hat and just rock the wig for the rest of the video. Why did it have to be the wig? Pirates following me thinking they're gonna get a pardon or something. I don't know how I feel about this. Let's try and catch some magpie implings and also clean up our inventory, do some farming. I saw a magpie impling. We're gonna get it. Aw, oh, shit. It's running back towards the center. Come on. That was not very, you know, the camera work sucked, but that's our first magpie impling on the account. I just accidentally opened it off camera. We got three diamond amulets noted. I think those are elks. It does remind me of our first giant mole kill giving us the strength amulet, but we don't need power amulets right now. We are going to need a whole lot of games necklaces, and I saw some possible update news, which seems promising for me about that, but we don't need power amulets. Great to have access to, but not what we need right at the minute. Now that we've got that 6500 though, the only thing left in this video is to go for upgrades and to grab that crystal key, which is a 1 in 20 drop from Magpie Implings. We need to get two of those, hopefully we don't get doubles, and yeah, that's where we're at. And now we just need to keep hopping through catching Magpie Implings until we get a loop half. And those also give us 700,000 coins. Here's 6, 7, and 8. More amulets. Nature tiara. And boots. We actually need those boots. We're gonna wear those. They, they are an upgrade. Sorry, mine boots. I, I got nothing to say. Like, look how much better those Mystic Boots are than the Mine Boots. Yeah, getting a little competitive here. Let's see what's in 9, 10, and 11. Snapdragon Seed, Rune Square Shield. That is an upgrade. Hell yeah. And... Rings of Recoil. Those are new. 
actually. We couldn't get those until, like, one of the more recent updates. Maybe the most recent update. Okay, Magpie Implings 12 through whatever. Sinister Key, I don't think we can ever use that. Rings of Foraging. Not super helpful, we've got a bunch of those already. Split Bear Gauntlets. I was wondering whether we would get the Split Bear Gauntlets or the Mystic Gloves first. I was hoping for the Split Bear Gauntlets, and I'm pretty happy we got them. No big deal either way, it's just Split Bear Gauntlets are more versatile, but I'm happy to get that knocked off. More Rings of Recoil. Diamonds to Elk. Rings of Life, and... More Dragon Hide. Another random Magpie Impling, and we get another Rune Square Shield. That is a nice Elk, now that we've upgraded already. That's like 20k. More Dragon Hides? A Dragon Dagger, that is... That's pretty nice. Another 20k, another useless sinister key, and dragon amulets, alcables, nice. This impling jar opening thing is actually starting to get a little addicting. Let's see what's in these ones. Another dragon dagger, more elks, like that dragon dagger, a pineapple seed we can't use, and more dragon hides. Also, these magpie implings are money. I am pretty sure this gets us up over, yep, yeah, over 100k. 800k. That's what I meant. On loop half. Wrong half. I'll take it. I'll elk it. There we go, that's the half we want. Finally. That is actually almost the end of this video. Let's go see what luck we get from our Falador area only Ultimate Iron Man's one and only ever chance at the Taverly Crystal Chest. And also, let's check to see what these boots and this spare tooth half of key actually elk for. 60 and 6k. There is quite a difference there. Okay. I'm making an executive decision we need to change into our next episode's outfit before we go and ceremoniously open this chest. Also, this is kind of big. This is the first dragon weapon on the account. We haven't used any dragon equipment up until this point. The dragon dagger is the first. This is a terrible angle, but we still need to get the top, so I don't want to go very far. But this is the first time in a half dozen episodes where we've actually had bottom slot leg slot items that are useful to us. And here we have a completed look. We've completed the entire set of ropes. It's two pieces. But, you know, we look significantly better now than we did before. Also, why does the robe look different on us than it does on them? I don't know. Anyway, we are not going to need this food, so, you know, kind little gesture. We just murdered a bunch of them. We're still murdering a bunch of them. We may as well just leave the food here. Let's do a special attack. I don't know if we've ever done one before. There we go. Frog eggs. Do any of these monks like frog eggs? I I'm sure one. There's got to be one freaky monk who's been like, yeah, I've tried that. It's delicious.
such old school, old style architecture. Bro, I'm gonna need to open your chest. And in the chest, we find... Rune bars! And we've completed all of the medium tasks in the Falador area, finally. That's what this was all about, everybody. That was it. Would it have been better if we would have got real lucky and scored the plate legs or plate skirt, would have been plate legs in our case, drop? Yeah, that would have been awesome. Not the way the cookie crumbles, but we have one more chance at a really, really awesome one-time chance plate legs drop. But that's not going to be for a while. There's going to be quite a grind before we get to that, actually. Before that, though, let's head back to our city, sell some stuff, regroup, figure out our next steps, grab that awesome shield. Like, that's going to be a thing. Nah, like, I literally cannot wait. It's not even the squire, is it? Where is the right squire? It's, it's this guy. Come on and give us the shield. We've done all the medium diary tasks. And we get an experience lamp. I forgot about that experience lamp. The first time was an accident. The second time I tried to do it intentionally and almost... Well, I, I don't even think I replicated it right. So the shield gives us half our prayer points back once a day, and we get 10% more experience while using it farming in Falador. Did it just say we get more from thieving from guards? Huh. Thanks indeed. I am happy with this shield. It actually matches the color scheme that we've fallen into using. Red and blue. That and the wig historically have been some of my least favorite colors together, but we're gonna make it work for a little while. Next stop is here. We will elk some things. However, the dragon hide, which we will be able to use at some point. Like, we could save it and tan it and use it, but it is not worth it to save for how much later we will be using it. So, we sell it now. So this video, and especially this last part of this video, have taken me far too long to get out to you guys, and I'm sorry about that, but hopefully that's going to change soon, because I'm recording this, editing the final touches onto the video, and getting it out today. I've been working on my Patreon page, which I will have a link for in the description. It's a work in progress. Any feedback that you guys have would be welcome, but yeah, it, like I said, definite work in progress. It is what it is so far, but like any support would be greatly appreciated. I wish I had more render distance. This is... this is not optimal. Not the best. But for the next video, we will be taking a look at all of these resources. I I'm selling the dragon hide before we get to the next video, but we'll be figuring out what to do with the rest of them. What to do with the antique lamp for experience. Might go into smithing, I don't know. It might go into construction. Tune in for the next video, which will hopefully be out real soon, because it should be a lot easier and more fun video and content for me to make and play. So, I will see you in the next video.